Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Introducing Gemini 2.0. Is it the end of ChatGPT? So we can all agree that the first Gemini models were pretty bad compared to ChatGPT, especially when it came to tasks like writing or thinking. But then in December, Google released experimental Gemini 2.0 and Flash, claiming that they're now competitive and even better than ChatGPT. From their marketing, it suddenly looks that way. But is it all just talk? Are these models actually as good as they claim? And are they going to replace ChatGPT for us in 2025? Well, here's what Google are claiming. So Gemini 2.0 introduces something called Native Multimodel Life API, which in simple terms means that it has human-like skills to interact with you in real time. It natively recognizes all sorts of inputs, such as audio and video streaming. So imagine pointing your camera at something and having it constantly recognize what you're showing, provide answers, and help solve problems. This is exactly what Gemini 2.0 is capable of now, and it can also do it in several languages at once, which is just mind-blowing. This means that Gemini can now see and hear the world around us, while also being able to think, plan, remember, and most importantly, take action, which is just like having a superhuman on the line with you at all times. This opens a ton of possibilities for things like robotics. And it's not just about the real world, because now we can use it while working too, by sharing our screens. For example, if you're stuck on a technical issue or need suggestions for a project, you can all simply share your screen and get assistance. This live API hasn't been rolled out to Gemini users yet, but you can already try out these features through Google AI Studio. It is still in the experimental stage and your data will be used for training. So I wouldn't share any sensitive information there just yet. All this might sound like OpenAI are falling behind, but they've actually already announced that ChatGPT will also support audio, video, and screen sharing inputs. And these updates are being rolled out as we speak to paid users. So kind of both companies get a point on this one. Although I think OpenAI could step up their marketing a bit, especially now that they're not going to be a nonprofit. I'm not sure if you know this, but most AI systems don't actually have that much memory. And that's why they struggle to process large amounts of information at once. To solve this, Gemini introduces a feature called Deep Research, giving it the ability to analyze 15,000 pages of information at the same time. And you might ask yourself, how does it manage that? Well, it comes with a massive 1 million token capacity, while most other AI tools are still in the thousands. It also uses a technique called attention that helps it go through huge amounts of data, pick out the important parts, and remember what it already processed. Just like how we think and organize information as humans, but on a whole another level. Because what would take you a month to research, Gemini can do in just seconds. The best news is that Deep Research is already available through Gemini 1.5 Pro and a free tool called Notebook LM. I have a quick tutorial of this one, so make sure to check out the video on our YouTube channel. And this is where OpenAI seems to be struggling. While ChatGPT can do some research, it's not nearly as effective, so Google definitely gets the point here. So AI in 2025 isn't just about answering questions anymore, at least not in Google's point of view. That's why Gemini 2.0 was designed to create AI agents that can do multi-step tasks for us with just a single prompt. Imagine asking AI to find emails for all companies in your list and having the agent to do all the work for you, searching for companies, visiting their websites, scanning contact details, and recording information as it goes. When it is finished, it will provide you with all the details without having to even click once. While Gemini 2.0 makes building agents like that possible, they're already working on an easy-to-use low-code tool called Google Agent Space, which will let you create personalized AI agents and automate a ton of tasks. While having these AI agents sounds super exciting, it is still in early stages of development, so we'll likely get access to these features in early 2025. This is another point where OpenAI are falling behind. ChatGPT wasn't designed with a gentic AI in mind, and from the looks of things, it doesn't seem to be heading in this direction. So Gemini definitely takes the lead on this one. Gemini was built to be way smarter than its previous versions, with big improvements in things like common sense, logical thinking, and problem solving. It can now handle more complex situations and make better decisions. On top of that, it's been made more creative. 
especially when it comes to tasks like writing, producing more original and nuanced content. These upgrades have helped it outperform previous models on several benchmarks, which now makes it usable. The new Flash models are also supposed to be much faster and lighter with reduced latency. That means the tasks get done quicker and everything just feels more seamless in real time. Despite these advancements, Gemini isn't quite at the level of OpenAI's 1 and 3 models that can challenge the biggest scientists of the world. So in this category, ChatGPT definitely takes the point. While we love to compare, it's important to know that Google's mission isn't actually to compete with ChatGPT. They're more focused on making AI useful by integrating it into every part of our Google experience. Imagine a powerful AI that can automate tasks across apps like search, calendar, maps, or workspace, making our life easier and more efficient. Well, that's exactly what Gemini is built to do. It isn't just about being a standalone AI model. It is designed to work across apps. With Google's access to the web and tools, it has the potential to do incredible things like simplifying workflows and automating repetitive tasks. Right now, Gemini's cross-app functionality is still limited. For example, you can check your emails through the Gemini app, but you can't directly reply to them yet. However, by early 2025, we'll be able to do much more with it. As much as ChatGPT might try, they'll never have access to all those apps and data as Google has. So when it comes to cross-app use, Google definitely takes the point. Although it might seem like Google wins by points in this comparison, that's not entirely the case. Gemini has definitely made huge improvements compared to their previous versions and achieved significant breakthroughs. However, ChatGPT's language model is still the winner for me. I really love how simple and straightforward it is, but I'll definitely be using Gemini in 2025 for tasks like research. So this comparison really isn't just about deciding which tool is better. It's about knowing what to use each tool for and really enjoy the best of both worlds as the consumer. If you have any suggestions for the topics you would like me to cover next, please make sure to comment down below. Thank you for joining me in this video. See you in the next one. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Bloggy from Technic Force. Run successful blogs in hands-free mode. AI Autoblogger gets you unlimited organic traffic with unique high-quality articles. The only AI writer that uses multi-AI and creates how new content based on latest trends. Get traffic, authority, leads, sales, and build organic success for any business you choose. Bloggy AI creates better and unique articles with multiple AIs. Bloggy gives you the option to use all of the best AIs to write unique and high-quality content that stands apart and ranks faster. Writes fresh and original content on 100% autopilot. Bloggy can run on full autopilot. Just give it topics and keywords and it will automatically churn out fresh articles as often you want on complete autopilot. No need to manually write each article separately. Algo keeps articles fresh and relevant. Write highly relevant articles on the schedule you specify. Create articles in any language. You can use Bloggy to create articles in any language you want. Choose between all the languages that your favorite AI supports, including English, Spanish, French, Japanese, Italian, Hindi, Chinese, German, and dozens more. Select any websites and automatically rewrite their articles in the language of your choice. It automatically posts articles to your WordPress blogs. Bloggy AI Writer doesn't just write your blog articles. It also posts them to your blog with full SEO optimization. How often do you want to update your blog? Weekly? Bi-weekly? Daily? Choose your schedule. Bloggy can handle it. Automatically SEO optimizes blog articles. Bloggy AI Writer does all the work for you. That includes perfectly optimizing your articles. Bloggy AI Writer generates the perfect headlines, keywords, meta description, categories, tags, and slog for your article. Full control over style, tone, voice, and personality. Bloggy gives you full control over the blogger's personality. You can set the style and tone, create a unique personality, and even give it a simple article to use as a reference for style. Automatically creates images and infographics for your articles. Every blog article deserves a good graphic. Bloggy AI creates graphics and infographics for your article using the latest and most powerful image AIs. Follow any website and get their latest articles for your blogs. Perfect for affiliate and product promotion blogs. Write for multiple blogs and create multiple writer personalities. Go manual if you want. Write AI content with full control. Never hire a Fiverr or freelancer guy again. Bloggy does it better. Bloggy is the only 100% autopilot writer. Grab leads, make sales, and build an audience. Always updated, Bloggy gets the latest AIs and algorithm updates. Dominate any niche or market with auto-blogging. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? 
Get Bloggy now. Just go to getbloggy.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.